Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a little mini tarot course to help you get to learn your cards uh, easier and to give you just a little quick exercise to do every day to get you more familiar, not just with the meanings of the cards and using your intuition, but also to actually read the cards if they come up in a spread. But before we dive into that, I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. I am the creator of the Confident Tarot Reader course, a course that helps you learn to read the tarot using your intuition and your knowledge. If you want to know more about tarot or Wicca, witchcraft, shadow work, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you do want to become that confident tarot reader, then take a look at the Confident Tarot Reader course. There's a link in the description field below this video. The tarot is something some people can just pick up and really connect with it straight away because they're already somebody who trusts their intuition. They may be incredibly intuitive and, and more into the feeling side of things anyway, and it will be easier for you if you are an intuitive feeling person. <laughs> but if you're maybe more of a thinker or you're not as trusting of your intuition, then sometimes the tarot can just be something where you just go, oh my gosh, what do I do? How do I read the tarot? How do I do it every day so that I can get to know the meanings of the cards and connect with the cards? As you know, when you look through a tarot card book, there's a lot of meanings to each card. And if you have books that give you a long list of keywords, there's usually a lot of words in those keywords, there can be up to 50 to 100 keywords for each card. So how do you learn that? Well, unless you have a photographic memory, you're probably not gonna learn every one of those words for each card. And that's not really how you should start anyway. It's much, much easier to start off with one keyword for each card and then progress along the way as you get to know your cards. Tarot is a doing activity, the same as witchcraft is a practice, uh, law of attraction is a practice, it's something you just practice doing regularly and you get better at it as you practice doing it. The same with tarot. What I recommend to my tarot students in the Confident Tarot Reader course is that they do mock readings every day. Now for people in my tarot reading course, we start off with five card readings. Uh, we also do three card readings to start off with. So that's a lot to start with, but then if you're serious about learning tarot, you will throw yourself in <laughs> and you know give it, give it a go every day using three to five cards. But you can start with just one card or just two cards and do that every day. Now the readings that you do every day don't have to be real readings, meaning you don't have to be reading for yourself or another person. To learn your cards for a learning activity, you just need to be able to make stories up with your cards, okay? So that you learn to see the imagery, you learn to feel what they feel like, and it's through telling stories. So allow yourself to be a storyteller every day if you don't wanna read for yourself or for someone else. And that's really simple. If you're just doing, say, one card, you'll just pick a random card, not even thinking of a question. It's got nothing to do necessarily with you. You just pick the card, okay? And the mock card for the day might be the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to have any attachment to this on a personal level because you're not necessarily reading it for yourself or reading it for another person. You're pretending that this card has come up for a pretend person. Okay, so this is a pretend person. So you could pretend that you're speaking to somebody. You can either think it in your head or say it out loud if, if um, you don't mind talking to yourself. And say, well, hey, you know, things have been pretty rough today. Um, they've been pretty rough. You've probably had a really bad night. Something's going on in your mind and you're just thinking over and over and over things. Uh, something's really worrying you right now. And it's keeping you up at night. 
Um, so you need to get on top of that and figure out what that might be and uh, start doing something about that because it's really getting to you. And then you might decide that you're going to do two cards that day instead of just the one card. So you might pick a second card just at random pretending you're reading for an imaginary person and then you get this card reversed. Okay, so this is the Ten of Cups reversed. So this, this, this mock person, thankfully who's a mock person <laughs> and isn't somebody you know or yourself, uh, is not having a good time. And perhaps what they're upset about and worrying about is that there's going to be an absolute disaster, an emotional disaster regarding their home, regarding their family, regarding relationships. Now, this you could say to the person, you know, are you worried about a relationship? Are you worried about a family situation? Uh, are you worried about, you know, what's going on? And you might make up a situation that might be going on for them. But you can tell from these two cards that this person is worrying a lot about this. Now, you might decide that this is the situation card. So the situation is this person's really worried about something at the moment, it's keeping them up at night. Then you find that you want to know what the obstacle is or the challenge card is. And you can use the second card as a challenge card. So the challenge card could simply be there's a lot of uh, relationship, familial, uh, instability relationship wise, emotionally right now. There might be a breakup. There could be something that really devastating that's happened to them um, from an emotional point of view or relational point of view. And that's what's keeping them up at night. And that's your mock reading for the day. It doesn't have to have anything to do with you. Just because you drew the cards doesn't mean it's to do with you because when you draw the cards, you're drawing with the intention of this is a mock reading. It's got nothing to do with me or anyone else. I'm just going to make up a fictitious person that the reading is for. And you can do that every day. You could have a theme. You could say, okay, I'm going to do a mock reading today on the theme of relationships. So I'm going to imagine that somebody's come in, that they're asked, they, they want to do a quick reading on a relationship that they're involved in. So you pick two cards or three cards or however many cards you want to challenge yourself with. And from those cards, you make up a story about what might be going on with their relationship. That is how you learn the meanings of your cards. And if you can try to do this at least every second day without referring to your book or the internet for the meanings, just do what I did then. Uh, look at the pictures on the card and see what's going on for them. Obviously, I used my knowledge of what those cards, um, the main, most common meanings of those cards. But if you look at the pictures on those cards, you can also see very clearly what those cards are alluding to and do that. Uh, they're called mock readings and you can do them. They don't have to be real readings when you're learning how to read the tarot cards and get connected to the stories that your tarot cards are telling you. And when I teach my students in the Confident Tarot Reader, that's how we start. We start looking at how the tarot tells stories and with practice and you start reading for friends and for family or for each other, it, it's, it starts to become easier for you to read for other people because you're already used to seeing what the stories are. And then when you've got a real person there in front of you, they can give you more feedback about the story as well. And then you can start to see more of what the cards are revealing as you're working with other people. So if you do want to become a Confident Tarot Reader, the Confident Tarot Reader course is there for you. The link is in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.